Hello everyone. In continuation with the series of Laplace transforms, uh, we'll be dealing here with the first shifting theorem, which is a very, very important theorem throughout the Laplace transform topic. By the end of the session, you'll be able to evaluate the Laplace transform of the given functions using the first shifting theorem. Now, as I have told you in the last lecture also, I'm just uh, walking through the theorems, proofs of the theorems, just to make you feel that what exactly the backhand uh, of the theorem is happening. So, uh, what is the statement says? It's Laplace transform of f of t is equals to f of s. Then, Laplace transform of e to the power minus a t is equals to into f of t is equals to f of s plus a, f of s plus a. So, if you'll observe here, this is f of t. This f of t has become e to the power minus a t into f of t. What is the effect of this on f of s? That has become f of s plus a. So I have got e to the power minus of a t. It is getting multiplied. f of t is getting multiplied e to the power minus a t. And the effect of this is happening here with s. s is uh, com getting combined with plus a. So if I have got e to the power minus a t over here, it is f of s plus a. Just We will just walk through the proof. It is very simple proof. Uh, it's f of t as per the definition, definition of the plus transform. Then Laplace of e to the power minus at f of t is 0 to infinity e to the power minus st. We have just put the value, replaced the value of f of t as e to the power minus at into f of t. Then it's this e is the e to the power minus st and e to the power minus at get combined and it is it will be e to the power minus s plus a into t f of t dt. And this is just by the, if you'll observe this too, the definition, this f, uh, this uh, Laplace of f of t over here, here, and if you'll observe this, you will come to know why I have written this as f of s plus a. Because this is this is nothing but f of s, because e to the power minus s t, and we have got it e to the power minus s plus a times t. Right? And therefore, it is f of s plus a. So, it's very simple property and the proof as well. Let us have, let us see the effect of this First shifting theorem on the elementary transformation or elementary functions here. If I have got a Laplace of e to the power a t, it is uh, 1 upon s minus a. If it is Laplace of e to the power a t, t to the power n, then what is what will be the formula? So it's gamma of n plus 1 upon s minus a to the power n plus 1. So where is the change? This s, otherwise Laplace of t to the power n is gamma of n plus 1 upon s to the power n plus 1. Right, and this n is getting this s is getting replaced as s minus a. So now I have purposely make this difference of I have given you the proof with this a, e to the power a minus a t, and I'm showing showing you the effect as e to the power a t. So if you'll observe the difference here, e to the power minus a t f of t, the Laplace of this is f of uh, f of uh, or the f of s plus a f of s plus a, whereas if you will observe this difference here, e to the power a t into t to the power n. So if it is a plus a t, e to the power plus a t, then it is s minus a, right? So if it is minus a over here, e to the power minus a t, it will give me s plus a with the f. And if it is e to the power plus a t, it will give me s minus a with this f. So we have to replace it in that way, right? So similarly, e to the power a t sine b t, where is the change? b upon s square plus b square was the Laplace of b t. What will be the Laplace of e to the power a t sine b t? It's b upon s minus. So, so every s is getting replaced as s minus a. Similarly, the same effect is happening here in this next and the next and the next. So observe the, the things carefully. Cos of b t, s minus a the square plus b square, e to the power a t sine hyperbolic lap, uh, b t of this, the function of, the Laplace of this function, b upon s minus a the square minus b square and so on. This is, I think I forgot this here. Uh, it's s minus a. Just, yeah, you have to just locate your mistakes and you will be able to locate your mistake only if you will understand it. So it's, it's what, what, are, what is the mistake I've done? I've done this mistake over here as s minus, it has to be s minus a because the Laplace transform of cos hyperbolic b is s upon s square minus b square and every s we are replacing as s minus a. So I have forgot to make this as here. Okay. So I have just done this purposely just to make you understand what is it. Okay. Fine. So let us move for a few examples. 
uh, and I have tried to uh, um, uh, do the uh, selection of the problems in such a way that the, the, the problems which are very favorite for the examiners, those problems I have taken. In short, I have taken the um, uh, maximum times repeated questions from the, uh, from the past university examinations. And uh, the ex uh, universities are mixed, so it's not the case. And I'm, I'm trying to cover most of the questions most of the times this year. So uh, it's e to the power minus 2t sine 4t plus t squared. So for what, what is it uh, in the present case? What is my f of t? This is what is the f of t I have got. So what is my task? My task is to find out my capital F of s. That means what? I need to find out the Laplace transform of this function first. That would be my f of s. And then this f of s uh, and every s would be replaced as this e to the power minus 2t. That means what? What is the value of a over here? The value of a over here is minus 2. Right? And accordingly, we will be making the change into it. So here it is uh, 4 s square plus a, uh, 16. This 2 upon s cube. This is just by the sine 40. The Laplace of sine 40 is 4 upon s square plus 16 t square is 2 upon, that is 2 factorial upon s cube. And therefore, the Laplace transform of e to the power minus 2t sine 4t plus t square is nothing but every s would be replaced as s plus 2. Because I have got here the value of a as minus 2. So because of this minus 2, this s will be replaced as s plus 2. So everywhere, wherever there is a s, that will be replaced as s plus 2. Let us move for one more type of question of this kind. Again, as I have told you, I have to find out the Laplace transform of this, keeping this e to the power minus 3t aside for a while. Then I'll be going for the Laplace transform of 2 cos of 5t minus 3 times sine 5t. This uh, purpose they have taken very simple and then I'll make a move to the little bit of difficult exams, examples. So it's 2 times Laplace of 5 cos 5t minus 3 sine 5t because of the linearity property, right? So it's it becomes 2s upon s square plus 25 minus 15 upon s square plus 25. Just a Laplace transform of these two functions inside. And then we will be replacing every s by s plus 3. Why? Because I have got it here e to the power minus 3t. And therefore, my every s would be replaced as s plus 3. So if you will observe, every s we have replaced as s plus 3 over here. So this s square is nothing but s plus 3 the whole square s plus 3 the whole square here as well, right? And that is what you have to just think about. It's very simple property, but very important property. And then just a simplification of these two uh, these things. That's all, nothing else. Okay. Uh, yeah, just a minute. So this is what is the final answer at the end of the question. Then find the Laplace transform of cos hyperbolic AT into cos AT. Cos hyperbolic AT into cos AT. So what is cos hyperbolic AT into cos AT? Cos hyperbolic AT is e to the power AT plus e to the power minus AT by 2. We have seen this formula in the last uh, session. So it's cos hyperbolic AT is nothing but we can express it. So you can just relate it the purpose. You have not written the formula separately because it's you can just relate it like this. So it's like cos hyperbolic AT is nothing but this here, right? Cos hyperbolic AT is nothing but e to the power AT plus e to the power minus AT by 2 cos AT as it is. Then what will happen, which is nothing but, so what am I doing? I'm right now, I'm simplifying my function in such a way that I could able to apply the Laplace and the properties of Laplace very well and very simple. So what am I doing? I'm just making a change in my function first. Simplification of my function first, instead of directly applying the Laplace, right? Okay, so it's I'm still in the simplification form. So it's half e to the power 80 cos 80 plus e to the power minus 80 cos 80. So we have just replaced it. We have just done the cross multiplication of the brackets. Then applying the Laplace here. Again, this half is out because of the linearity and because it's a constant with respect to t. Then we will apply the Laplace here. Now, cos 80, Laplace of cos of 80. First of all, Laplace of cos of 80 is what? It's s upon s square plus a square. s upon s square plus a square. And but we have got it here e to the power plus 80. Therefore, every s from the Laplace of this would be replaced as s minus a, s minus a, the square here. Similarly, cos of 80, the Laplace is s, s uh, upon s square plus a square. But because I have got here e to the power minus 18 to the multiplication, this s would be replaced as s plus a, s plus a, right? Understand that. And that is why I'm, I'm just highlighting it. You have to be very careful whenever you are 
uh, you are listening the videos on or the any uh, content on mathematics uh, you cannot do it and you have to have your pen and paper with you then only you will understand the concept very well okay then just a simplification we have just solved the brackets over here uh, this detail uh, okay fine I'll, I'll just go through it so it's s minus a the square plus a square s plus a the square plus a square so we have just got the brackets expanded and after uh, uh, I mean, uh, getting rid of few terms we have got this as so we have got s square plus 2a square minus 2as s square plus 2a square plus 2as now it's just for the cross multiplication by uh, getting the cross multiplication the brackets uh, multiplication will give me s square plus 2a square the square minus 4a square s square right so it's it's this is this is looking as a square minus uh, a minus b a plus b so it's a square minus b square in the denominator i'm talking about here in the denominator here a square minus b square happened here because it's a minus b into a plus b right what will happen in the numerator with the cross multiplication after the cross multiplication and after simplification of this uh, you will get this uh, my suggestion for you is just try to get this on your own so that what will happen you will get that confidence of this particular question because as i have told you i have collected i have i have uh, sorted out i have uh, uh, i've chosen the questions in such a way that they are the most favorite questions and most uh, many times these questions are repeated in the university examinations okay so this is what uh, this is also one of the very important and very uh, uh wanted you can say the most wanted question sine hyperbolic t by 2 sine square root of t by 2t uh i'll again highlight this if you'll observe it's sine uh hyperbolic t by 2 is the formula is this so we have we have just replaced this sine hyperbolic t by 2 as this e to the power t by 2 minus e to the power minus t by 2 by 2 and this remains the same then the multiplication would give me this then I have to have first, I have to have the, the Laplace transform of this sine square root of t by 2t, which is, so sine a t, the Laplace transform of sine a t is a upon a square plus a square. So what is the value of a in the present case? It's sine of square root of 3 by 2t. So this is what is the a in the present case. I'm not talking about this a. Do not get confused with that. Right now, I'm just talking about the Laplace transform of sine square root of 3 by 2 so it is square root of 3 by 2 upon s square plus three, square root of 3 by 2 the whole square which is 3 by 4 and then uh, we'll be applying the laplace of this over here so if the individually it will get la uh, applied here so if you'll observe this is the same step i have taken it from here uh, then uh, every s from this expression is getting replaced as in the first because it's e to the power plus half to t every s is getting replaced as s minus half if you'll observe here s minus half the square plus 3 by 4 and here we have got it s uh, e to the power minus half into t and therefore it is getting replaced as s plus 1 by 2 so if it is a plus a it will be minus if it is a minus it would be plus with s so it's in the reverse way right and that is what we have got the answer as this. Okay. So, our final answer is in a simplified way as square root of 3 by 2 into s upon s to the power 4 plus s square plus 1. So, this is also one of the very important questions. Okay. Now, come back to our self-observation. Whatever until now I was uh, talking to you. Now, you have to take a pause here and you have to understand. You have to find out the answer for this self-observation slide. Three questions are given along with the answers. Write down the questions, solve it, whatever the, uh, the things I have given it to you. Solve it and get the answer and be an expert with the first shifting theorem. Thank you. Happy learning.